If you're watching this, then you've probably seen that video of the ATF seizing 30 quote-unquote toy guns uh, from an airsoft shop that ordered them on the basis that these airsoft guns could be easily converted into a military-grade machine gun. And I'm reading through a lot of the comments, and what I'm seeing is that uh, a lot of people don't think so. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is show you how, number one, everyone who's saying that clearly has no gun knowledge, and that, number two, with minimal gun knowledge, you can take this uh, Airsoft M4 and you can turn it into a military-grade M4. Um, a few important things to start. It has to be a metal-bodied M4. It has to be metal. It needs a metal barrel, metal, you know, all the stuff on the real gun that would be metal. It needs to be metal. Uh, like most airsoft guns, preferably low-quality aluminum that is used for toys and not like the real M16s, which use aircraft-grade aluminum. So pretty much any aluminum that you wouldn't either build a gun or airplane with will do fine. Um, also, something that they left out was that you do in fact need to, uh, where'd I put that thing? Ah, uh, here we go. You will need to buy, they left this out, for good reason I guess, but you need to buy a magazine capable of taking the real 5.56 ammunition of the M4, or whatever gun you're going to be converting, and in the uh, M4's purpose, a uh, bolt carrier, complete bolt carrier, you will need this to uh, go ahead and get your machine gun going. Um, other than that, you'd be surprised. A lot of the parts from uh, from this airsoft so-called toy are interchangeable with the real gun. So we'll go ahead and get started on the tutorial here. And what you're going to do is these uh, pins holding the two receivers together. You're just going to go ahead and you're going to pop those out. You're going to then remove the hand guards. And what we want to do first is we want to get rid of all of the gears and wiring. So, just pull these wires apart, slide the two receivers apart, and, you know, moving on. We'll do the upper receiver first. What you do is you uh, remove the inner barrel, like so. Okay? And after you remove the inner barrel, it's really important that you, uh, oh, where'd I put it? Ah, here we go. The inner, the uh, upper receiver, very important. You can take any chapstick. Any chapstick will do, but I prefer this type of chapstick. Normal chapstick. And what you do is you take the chapstick, and you just rub it on the inside of the receiver. Oh, get this open here. You just rub it inside like so, maybe about, I'd say three strokes is good, four just in case, maybe. But that's the first step. Second step is this fake uh, gas system here, What you're going to do. It's very important, too. You see how it starts to bend right here? You take a pair of pliers, and right where it bends, one, two. Just tap it twice. Don't do any more and don't do any less, otherwise you're going to be in big trouble. Then you go ahead and you put these uh, hand guards back on. You'll notice it's a bit different because the military quality is starting to show. It's actually quite difficult. But like I said, that's just the quality coming out of them. Okay. There we go. And here you have your ready-to-receive upper receiver. Like I said, these handguards are a bit tricky, but, um, you know, you'd be surprised if you look, you know, uh, can I get it here? There we go. If you look through the barrel, there's already rifling there, which is pretty crazy. Uh, also, there's a complete chamber in there. You know, I never really paid much attention to how these things work, but, uh, you know, it's, it's ready. See? You can take the bullet and put it in the chamber like so. It's perfect. You know, I almost think these things were made to just be machine guns. I think they were actually old machine guns that have been turned into toy guns, which is why it's so easy. Okay, next we're going to move on to our lower receiver. Just to make things easier to work with, I'm going to remove our military-grade six-position collapsible stock that comes with every Airsoft M4. 
And as I said, we want to gut the inside of all of its electronic internals. We want a nice shell to work with here. So that's the key. Get rid of all that electronic airsoft stuff so we can get to the real gun stuff. Take out the motor. This handguard is ready to be used as, you know, this military grade uh, plastic here. So we're all set to go on that. Now then, do I have my little tool with me? Yes, I do. This next part is kind of tricky. What you need to do is you need to remove this mag release, you need to remove this uh, bolt release, and you need to remove the internal gearbox. So, to do so, you simply go ahead and there's two screws holding this in there. Just unscrew those, like so. That's, that's one screw. They can be a bit tricky to get, but you know, they're tricky to get with good reason. It's the uh, military specifications of these guns. So, here we go. See, we got all this all this wiring here. So we want to get we want to get rid of all this wiring. Okay. Now this next part is uh, it's a bit tricky. We need to knock this bolt release out of place. And of course, as any good uh, craftsman knows, you're not doing work if you don't hit something with a hammer. So this is where we start doing the real work, and we hit stuff with a hammer. Oops. You don't want to lose this piece right here. This is uh, it's important. It's how you get your bolt release back in. But other than that, you could just you can just pull it right out of where it was. So that's part one down. Part two, the mag catch. You just simply push the mag catch as far as it'll go out, and then you rotate it, like so. This will undo the screw. Comes right out, just like that. And then, you know, your button and spring here, they'll come right out, no problem. You'll notice this little knot bar bar, whatever the hell you want to call it, right there, you're going to just go ahead and tap it out. So we're hitting, we're hitting two things with hammers, so, you know, that's, that's definitely showing some military quality right there. Again, don't lose this piece. Alright. Then we just have to get this screw out. Oh, sorry for the off camera. This is a bit, bit of a tough uh, screw to get out. Oh, that's pretty quality right there. That's all right. There we go. Like I said, you'll really feel the uh, military grade once you start taking these apart. There's another screw in here. Just get in there with a screwdriver like so and twist it out. Here we go. Alright, there's the buffer tube. And then remove that pesky gearbox. Then we can put our buffer tube back in place. And then we put our military grade six position collapsible stock back on. All right. There we go. Now, uh, just time on. okay. One thing you'll notice is after you've done all that, there's just a trigger in there. I never really paid much attention to it of all the times I took my airsoft gun apart, but it's just in there. Also, there's a buffer tube in there. I don't know where these came from. I guess with the gun they must have come from, but uh, 
you know I've never noticed them before so that's pretty crazy right there we're pretty much uh, done with our machine gun here you know it's just a simple putting the pieces together so what we do is we take our upper receiver remember I did tell you you do need to buy that bolt carrier and here's where we're gonna use that you go on and put it in just like that fits like a glove hardly wobbles it's perfect and you're gonna put your two receivers back together just like so push these pins back in and look at this you've got yourself military grade machine gun also I said buy a magazine you'll notice that all the functions work mag release works locks charging handle bolt locks back on the empty mag bolt release button works just fine we got ourselves a quality machine gun here just pretty much the exact same thing the military would use and as I said before you can really do this with just about any metal airsoft AEG uh, this here is a uh, converted AK-47 always check to make sure that your newly created machine guns are unloaded at all times you know unless you plan on firing it but uh, you know this is pretty simple this was just a swap out of a few easy pieces you know really once you took the uh, whole top apart all you needed to do is put uh, by this spring here just by the recoil spring you have to buy this uh, bolt housing right here with the long stroke piston attached to it of course they all should come like that with the long stroke piston but uh, you know slide it in put the spring on and you can keep the top from your uh, your AEG they're same stuff really you know and just like that uh, another conversion I have some of you are probably fans of the old G3 well here we go this is a freshly converted G3 I did this the other night um, mostly the same simple conversions you have to do you just buy the uh, you just buy the bolt uh, this piece this whole there's a long bolt in here you just really have to, for this one all that's all you have to buy and the magazine you know same as the uh, M4 pretty much the same general thing with the AK the AK takes three pieces though this uh, recoil spring you're going to need the bolt uh, housing the whole carrier and you're gonna need the magazine for this and the M4 you just need the magazine uh, you know the magazine and uh, the bolt and it's you know you're you you got yourself a machine gun right there. Um, I'll be making another video though for those of you who have the metal gas pistols. You'll notice that uh, they seem quite real. Well, that's because they are just a few steps from being a quality military handgun. Good old Beretta M9 right here. I'll show you how I converted this. I'm also thinking about converting a Glock. Uh, this is a great conversion, by the way. This is not only good for people who are looking to get a handgun illegally, but, you know, it makes a great self-defense tool, so... Definitely something everyone should look into. Uh, very inexpensive and a great way of getting, you know, a military-grade killing machine, so... Thank you for watching and uh, subscribe and comment and all that other nonsense that people with YouTube videos ask you to do. And uh, hopefully I'll be making some more videos in the future.